Hello everyone, today we are going to take a look at the Emex uh, Tiny Hawk. So it comes in this uh, nice uh, case, it's a hard case, so that's very a very good addition for it. You can travel and you will not break the quadcopter. So inside the box you are going to get a manual, and the manual is in Chinese and on the other side it's in uh, English. And it features every step that you need to take to make this thing fly so it's very good it shows you how to configure the quadcopter from the OSD the configuration of the receiver what to set up in uh, in better flight so very good it's very good to have it oh there's a tiny screwdriver for this tiny hook and the lipo charger uh, this doesn't have a selector for selecting uh, regular LiPo or uh, high voltage LiPo. It actually has uh, two outputs, two different outputs, two double outputs. Uh, the ones on one side here are for the regular voltage, the others are for high voltage. So you can charge four individual cells with it, but you can charge two regular and two high voltage. Uh, it does have a label here on the back that shows press 3 seconds to change voltage. There's no button here, you cannot press anything. You are going to break it, so just follow the guide here and that should be fine. So There's another bag here. It has some spare screws, insulator for the flight controller and an extra connector for the battery. And of course the quadcopter and some Emacs stickers. And that's all with the bundle, so the quadcopter looks like this, kind of a weird design with the propellers underneath, so it's not the regular shape you see in this uh, type of quadcopters. Um, I do observe one thing, the plastic from the canopy is actually very good, it's kind of a soft plastic that will probably not break when you abuse it. Which I really like and the canopy it's made from one single piece with all the body and the ducts for the motors so this should be uh, hopefully resistant underneath it it comes with the battery pre-installed it's a 450 milliamps battery 80 100 C discharge high voltage hopefully it should last a few minutes and there's a battery cage installed over the flight controller there also here on the top part of the quadcopter you have this small button this is for the video transmitter you can change the frequency and the channel by pressing it it has some colored leds that will change and uh, display the current setting uh, or will display your chosen setting and of course the micro usb port for the flight controller while the bind button it's rather tricky to press it's underneath this tray it's this small thing so you kind of need to use that tiny screwdriver and press it there to bind the quadcopter uh, of course that's also in the manual but it doesn't show that uh, it's underneath this thing so you are going to be a bit uh, fiddling with it to make the first bind. A very nice thing about this quadcopter is that uh, it supports OSD and it also has smart audio for the video transmitter and you can access them by combination like uh, the throttle mid, uh, your left and pitch up and then you get the uh, menu like on uh, regular larger quadcopters and there you have profiles for uh, even uh, PIDs and the quadcopter comes with, I hope that you can see it has three uh, PIDs profiles already um, made from the factory which is very nice and the first one is uh, very uh, gentle, the second one will increase the pitch and the third one is for, uh, they say, for pinchers, so even small movements will uh, make the quadcopter very aggressive. 
so uh, of course you have on features here you have the window transmitter you can select the band the channel so it's very easy to configure using the OSD only and that uh, saves you a lot of trouble because you don't need a PC to configure all the stuff out so this is the uh, small tiny hook so it does have some nice features um, but a thing that I will mention and I do not like about it is the propellers the propellers are not screw mounted on the motor they are push propellers so these propellers will jump out probably in a crash and there's already a newer model of this type of propeller because this thing doesn't have enough power to turtle uh, return it to the position so they have issued now a four pro prop design so that has enough power to flip it over in case you want to use turtle mode so props are not probably the best and i don't like the fact that you cannot screw mount them some people say that they haven't lost them others have lost them from the first flight so that's a con for me and now let's charge it up and see how this thing flies i'm going to try to fly it a bit indoor but just line of sight and of course i'm going to take it outdoor even though it's very small 